All right, here we are. It's the two o'clock hour, and uh, we are back with another wow back to back Grandview women hammers. We've got the 109 pounder at Grandview University here in the house. She was the two time Iowa high school state champ. She's ranked number seventh in the country in the NAIA. Uh, she just finished up her freshman year. Uh, she's a badass, and she's here with us. How are you, Emma Cochran? Welcome. Thank you so much for coming on. Yes, thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. I had uh, your 123 pounder just about an hour ago, and she was absolutely amazing as well. And uh, it looks like you guys and Coach Valles and all the coaching staff is building up a good thing over there. Um, what have uh, what have you been up to during this whole stay at home thing? And and are you back in? Well, you're from Iowa, but are you back in the part of Iowa that Grandview is at now? Yeah, so um, I'm still uh, back at my hometown. I'm super, super lucky that I only live an hour away from Des Moines. So um, if I ever need to go up to Grandview, it's just like an easy drive up there, easy drive back. So um, I am going to try to move up there as soon as possible, as soon as kind of everything kind of calms down and uh, kind of gets back to normal. But um yeah, quarantine has been definitely something crazy. I've been working a lot. Um, obviously, gyms weren't open for a while. So I was just trying to find at home workouts, um, going on town runs, kind of just getting in what I could get in. And then um, I've been kind of driving to Des Moines to try to get mat time in since we can't really get into uh, the wrestling room here in my hometown. Sure. Uh, yeah. are, you start, are you starting to see things start to open up out there in Iowa? I know that um, from talking to some people, um, obviously the corona has hit everywhere and it's affect everyone, um, but apparently not not Iowa as bad. So it seems like you guys are are definitely um, seem to start opening up. Or what Marlene was saying. Yeah, um, Iowa's definitely. If we're not opened up, we're very, very close to being all the way opened up. Just obviously trying to follow all those like strict rules of like social distancing, wearing your mask everywhere you go. Uh, but yeah, I would say like Iowa's very opened up. A lot of things are back open. Um, yeah, it's just, it's still like, you know, you want to be safe in here and you just want to sure. be cautious of what you're doing. But yeah, it's really nice to have things kind of getting back to normal especially in Iowa, it's a very, uh, like, it's a lot of farmland. So you don't have like those huge cities that are getting hit as hard. Obviously, Des Moines got hit pretty hard. But um, we are kind of lucky that it's more of a, like a small town state. Wow, so. yeah, that, that's good. So do you have siblings? Yes, I have an older brother and a younger sister. Do they wrestle? Um, yeah, so uh, my brother was an Iowa State champion, and he wrestled at Iowa State for a couple of years. And um, my sister is like kind of off and on. She's nine years old. Uh, she's more worried about growing her hair out. Um, <laughs> but she definitely she'll like wrestle a season and then take a break, wrestle a season. I think it will be in her radar, but uh, I think she's just kind of trying to find out what works best for her at the moment. Oh, well, awesome. Well, good for your brother. Is he still up in Iowa State? Um, not anymore. He's still in Ames, but, uh, he's now working on, uh, just a different degree and everything, but he just no longer wrestles. Oh, well, good for him. It sounds like it's a, a family tradition with you guys. Oh, for sure. I have been, a I've been around wrestling since the day I was born. Oh, <laughs> well, that explains why you're ranked number seventh in the NAIA and two-time state champ and doing well. So, uh, so being, being Iowa born, Iowa bred, um, what made Grandview the, the place of choice, the place for you to go to? Yeah, um, I remember when I started looking for colleges, Grandview had just announced that they were going to start a new program. And at the beginning, I wasn't super interested because I was like a, a first year program. I don't know if if that's like really what I want to get into. But after talking to Coach Krenzi, after taking my campus tour and like really seeing everything that Grandview offers, it wasn't even a question whether if there was like other schools that had like the better opportunity for me. I'm a nursing major and Grandview has an awesome nursing program. Um, obviously, Crinzy and Vias are just super amazing people. They know what they're doing uh, and they have the best intentions for me. 
not only as a wrestler, but um, academically and just as a person overall. And when I was looking for a school, that was what I was looking for. And they just offered everything for me. That's awesome. Well, and it, it doesn't hurt that it's an hour from the, from the house, right? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Good for you. So now, now Iowa educated also, right? Of course, all the way. <laughs> Perfect. Good for you. So um, I think you mentioned a little bit, you've got siblings and family, but uh, what, what made wrestling your thing? What, other than being born into it and probably had a singlet in your crib, other than that. <laughs> yeah. So um, I actually didn't start wrestling until I was a sophomore in high school. It was something that kind of growing up, I'd always go to my, my dad had a club. And so I'd always go to his practices and just mess around with the boys. And uh, my brother growing up, I was always his like his dummy in the living room. He would always try new moves on me. It was something that I always wanted to do, but um, wrestling, female wrestling in Iowa wasn't a huge thing. It still is like kind of growing. Uh, but I think the number one thing was watching my brother win his state title his senior year. And then we went and watched him wrestle at Fargo and I got to see girls actually wrestling. And I didn't even know that was like a thing. So when I saw that, there wasn't a question in my mind that I was like, dad, that's what I want to do. Why am, why am I playing basketball? I want to wrestle. <laughs> and then that, um, literally right after that, I think I started um, practicing with my dad and my brother, and then I started up on the boys team that fall. That's all, and it, you probably were pretty good at it before you even went on the team because you had been doing it at practice and stuff. You just weren't competing, right? Yep, I definitely, <laughs> definitely knew wrestling before I had even started it, um, and I definitely under understood it, which I think <clears throat> a lot of people if you're a new um, wrestler and you don't really know much about it, you can kind of struggle. So that was a huge benefit or a pro for me because I did know the sport and I'd been around it for so long. And before season had even started up in uh, my sophomore year, my dad and my brother and I had kind of been uh, already like practicing and kind of preparing me for that season. So I was just super blessed to have the family that I did that helped me get into wrestling and then obviously get me where I am today. Awesome. Well, so uh, of course, um, there's a big fight right now in Iowa to get girls sanctioned, right? Yes. And I know that that's a, uh, a very high on your agenda. And um, one of the reasons is, I mean, you had to go through high school wrestling all boys. Yeah. And um, though it might have helped you progress faster or made you who you are today, what, wouldn't it have been great to have a girls team? Yeah, so I always say if I could go back, I wouldn't change anything. I am so beyond blessed that I had the teammates that I did. Um, the boys on my team were super helpful and uh, they were really um, mature and just very helpful for me. They wanted the best for me. Um, and obviously like I, I did what I could to be the best and, uh, and help with the team. But um, for my future, for, for my sister, for my kids, if I have a daughter, I think, and obviously like my friends that are younger than me, I think Iowa is behind on getting women's wrestling. I don't know why we haven't already. Um, our numbers just keep doubling and tripling every year about how many girls are joining the men's team. And you know, you have people all over the state, all over the world of uh, um, I get a lot when I say that I wrestled guys growing up in high school, you get a lot of like mixed emotions from people. And it was like, well, if I had the opportunity to wrestle girls growing up, I would. Um, obviously, I am really blessed that uh, I did get to wrestle with the guys because I think that it um, helped me get stronger and I had to kind of develop a, a certain kind of style to do that. But um, if we could get, if, if Iowa had a female uh, sanctioned wrestling, I think Iowa, since we are very high up on the men's side of wrestling, we're, we're a wrestling state. And so not having women's wrestling, it's just kind of a bummer. And I think that um, we're already improving in the numbers, but if we just sanction it, those numbers are gonna be, women's wrestling is gonna take over. And it's just sad that it hasn't already. I agree with you. Uh, we just had this battle in Florida and they, they finally got through it and it's, and it's opening up the 21st, 22nd year. Um, you're seeing all the states 
Um, over the last three, four, five months, a lot of states are getting sanctioned. Um, I'm not sure in my mind now, I have two sons, but I'm also not 90. Like, uh, why did, why is it even a question? Like, why don't we just say, okay, girls can wrestle? Like, I, I don't understand. There's got to, I don't understand when people say, well, there's more to it. There's more behind it. There's more than this and more than that. But what? what is what I mean they can put teams together they're out there in clubs there's there's probably a lot of girls that want to wrestle and could wrestle but don't because they're not interested in rolling around with sweaty boys at 14 years old and exactly yeah and and there's a lot of boys rooms that are unfortunately like no we don't want that right so um why not just give them their own teams I mean it's exactly and Iowa has been doing well. Um, there are several all-girl clubs, and Iowa is, uh, they're putting more strictly female tournaments throughout, uh, throughout season. So um, I have a couple girls in, at my hometown, and they wrestle on the men's team, but they only go to the female tournaments, if that makes sense. Yeah. And so, uh, but at the same time, it's like still trying to find those partners, those girl partners, because the difference between wrestling a guy and wrestling a girl, it's so much different. It was a struggle for me to kind of come to college and have to adjust my my style again to like wrestle a girl, if that kind of makes sense. Sure. But um, yeah, um, I it has been has been doing good. It's just that top thing of just trying to get it sanctioned is where is what is what we're having problems with because Iowa wants it and um, the people that are against it or against girls wrestling guys, I feel like they should want female wrestling to be sanctioned. So, cause yeah. all I want is I just want the same opportunity. I want to be uh, a top wrestler. I want to be strong. I want to win a national title. I want all that same stuff that a guy might want. So I just want that for my for the future generations in Iowa to be ha to have that opportunity to that wrestle. Makes sense. And, and I think it even when I spoke to Coach Baez, um, it's it's awesome how far it's come. Like she said, you know, obviously when when she was younger, she had problems trying to find partners. She couldn't yeah. get boys to wrestle with her. She'd show up at tournaments, and you know, they they'd say, "Oh, I'm not wrestling a girl," or they forfeit or yeah. whatever. Now, obviously, we've come a long way. I think now you're seeing where you're just another wrestler in the room and people are adapting and it's accepted and boys and girls can wrestle. Um, but now it's another level. It's creating other, you know, and I'm sure, I'm sure emotionally we're like, why well, just, just let them wrestle me. But I'm sure in the schools and things like that, there's adding budgets and adding teams and adding For things sure. like that. But yep. <laughs> I do say, uh, for any Iowa wrestling fans, it is something to just kind of keep an eye on because once it's sanctioned, it is going to be a huge thing. Love it. So um, uh, you just finished your freshman year. Um, obviously, it was cut short due to the uh, to the COVID. Um, so you weren't able to do the nationals, right? Yeah, we drove all the way up to North Dakota for it to get canceled and we had to drive right back. Oh, that was an exciting drive, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no. No, uh, no. Did you guys like stop and just pig out since you knew you didn't have to wrestle now? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, actually, Coach uh, took us bowling. So uh, it was just us team and we went bowling and he ordered us a bunch of pizza and even <laughs> let us have pop. So that was that was something crazy. That's, that's awesome. Well, good. Good for you. So what are your goals this year? Um, you know, God willing, wrestling opens up and, and we have uh, we have a season and, and what are you looking to do this year? Yeah. So obviously at the end of the season, we're always looking for that national, that national title. Um, this year we are doing a national duels. So that's something that we're going to have to look for as a team and strive for that, for that title. But um, for like smaller goals is just trying to leave every match, knowing that I gave 100%. Um, just hitting my shots, being an offensive wrestler, uh, doing what I can do um, every second throughout the two minute periods. That's awesome. And now, what would you say to um, young ladies out there getting ready to transition from the high school level to college? Yeah. Look at, look at programs and, and what would you tell them 
as advice? Yeah, of course. Um, I would say take a college visit. Um, know the know the the campus and know don't look just into wrestling. Look into the ap- academic. Um, this is college is going to be your new home. It's going to be where you're going to live for the next four years. So it is truly, truly, truly important to find a college that best fits for you. That's I think my number one um, my number one thing to younger women going into college is just finding a college that fits for you, that fits best for you. Look for that, that family environment, a team that is always willing to help each other out because that's who you're going to be with for the next four years. I love it. All right. So, so tell me who wins in a blindfolded match, you or Chloe? Oh, you saw this. Uh, (laughs) Chloe, Chloe can put it put it up to me, but um, I I know her too well. I know her too well. <laughs> I, I think it's a close one, but uh, and I have all confidence in her. But I think I can take her with a blindfold. <laughs> I like it. So now, who wins a match, Pip or Autumn? All right, Autumn. I think if if I think if the weight was a little bit different there, uh, um, Autumn Pip might have a chance, but Autumn just got the weight there. <laughs> She's going to lean on her a little bit. Yeah, probably. Autumn's mean. <laughs> She's a mean pug. <laughs> All right. Those are the two uh, questions yeah. that Marlene said sh- I should ask you. So, because she said it was just, it was, it was a fun time watching you two wrestle blindfolded. Oh, it was something. It was, it was kind of scary. I didn't know what I was doing, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, we just had like a fun practice and Chloe, my workout partner, we decided that we were just going to take some tape and tape our eyes off and then just try to wrestle live. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, Grand View Women's Wrestling. Uh, proud of you, Emma. That's what they just posted. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so, all right, so here it is, Bebops or Zombies. All right, so this is, this is, you're going to call me crazy because I might, be, I might be the only Iowan to ever say this, but I'm not a burger fan. Oh, so, so what if- what so about me? Right? Aunt Maya's are probably gonna get on me, but uh, I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Bebops for the fries and Zombie Burger for the shakes. I like it. So you don't do like Made Right? No. <laughs> no Made Right. No. And people call me crazy for it. Ah, it's okay. You 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 do thin crust or deep dish? Oh, deep dish for sure. The Asian Gardens or the Botanical? Oh, that one's hard. I would say the Asian Gardens. It's got a really pretty view over like the over the river. Aha. Uh-huh. Heritage Carousel or Adventureland? Oh, uh, Adventureland for sure. For sure. Uh, I got to read my own handwriting. You're good. Bindland Park or Union Park? Birdland Park or Union Park? Uh, Union, Union. I do not <laughs> like, I do not mess around with birds. <laughs> uh, oh. Scotcheroos or Dutch letters? Dutch letters, Dutch letters. I'm only like 30 minutes from Pella. Dutch letters for sure. <laughs> Pork tenderloin or Iowa chops? Oh, I'm gonna go pork tenderloin. <laughs> the Blank Park Zoo or History Farms? Oh, Blank Park Zoo for sure. I love animals, not huge on history. <laughs> I was going to ask you Maid Rights or Sloppy Joes, but you don't eat either one of them. No. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's make one up. Waffle fries or steak fries? Mm-hmm. Waffle fries. Chick-fil-A <laughs> waffle, fl- waffle fries. Are the best. I For like sure. the fine, you know how the ridges are? And then I'll eat them like just like down the line, almost like a piece of corn, but I'm eating their fries. <laughs> Baez, Coach Baez just sent me a message and she said, Zombie, zombie burger, started <laughs> getting on me. Yep, uh, I, I saw that happen with Geo. Uh, <laughs> the art center or the science center? Oh, I would say the science center. We went there a lot kind of growing up for field trips and they have a lot of really cool things to do there. Awesome, well, those are my 10 questions. And that awesome. <laughs> I always do that at the end and, and uh, throw them out there and, um, this has been amazing. As I told Marlene, I, I, I started this show April 6th and I've done like 155 of these already. And I've gotten to meet a lot of people, but I got to meet a lot of 
Grandview people that are there now, but <coughs> excuse me, but I've spoke to a lot of wrestling coaches out there in the wrestling world that were alum of Grandview. So there's obviously something in the water there and they're doing good things. They're making great humans, great wrestlers and great people. So thank you so much for coming on. And uh, if, uh, if, if your dad ever wants to come on and talk about his wrestling club in Iowa, I'm oh, cool yeah. with that. Just let me know. You got my link. And uh, if your brother ever wants to come on and talk wrestling or, or any of your friends, just uh, tell them to go to my page, pick book now and, and let's do it. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me. It's been like, a, it's been so much fun just talking to you. Um, yeah. And I'll definitely let some of my, my friends and my family know that this is the place to go. The place to go. Uh, and if, you, if you want to, uh, if you want to put a bunch of girls together in Iowa, I did this down in Florida. I did a, uh, if you go to my YouTube page somewhere in there, uh, there is a, uh, a show that I did. It was like 40 minutes long and it had, you know, like 30 girls and coaches talking about why girls should be sanctioned in Florida. So uh, oh. if that's something that you want to do in Iowa and you can get a bunch of girls together, we can set up a time. Um, even if I'm booked four shows that day, I'll just, do a show at like 5 30 in the afternoon and yeah. we'll get on and we'll get all, all the girls all the coaches onto one zoom and, and and we can yell at iowa to sanction so let me know if you ever want to do that awesome thank you so much it's been such a blessing to like just be able to talk to you and share my ideas and thoughts on wrestling yeah the honor is all mine and awesome. you've got a new fan so i'll be rooting for you guys 2020 national champions here go girls all right. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. Take care. You too.